Should you buy YouTube views? What about subscribers? What about running a contest or a giveaway on your channel? We're going to talk about how all of those things affect the growth of your YouTube channel. So let's first talk about buying views or subscribers. If you do a quick Google search, whoa, look at how many search results you get. Different companies who are trying to take your dollars in exchange for views or subscribers. I know it can be really tempting to buy views or subscribers. You know, growing your YouTube channel is a painstaking, slow process, and it's really tempting to take a shortcut by buying views or subscribers. It's a way to really boost your ego. It can kind of be a hit to your ego when you see a video that's not getting a lot of views or you see other channels with so many subscribers and you have so few. But I'm here to tell you that you never, ever, ever wanna buy views or subscribers on YouTube because it is a direct violation of the YouTube terms of service. These companies may promise you that these subscribers or viewers are real people, but they're not. They are bots. I'm telling you, they're lying to you. If an entire company's business model is based around cheating YouTube, then why wouldn't they lie to you too, right? These are not reputable companies, and it's very dangerous for the YouTube, entire YouTube ecosystem to be buying views or subscribers because YouTube is in the business of selling authentic views to advertisers. And if advertisers don't feel confident that those views are authentic, then the whole house of cards comes tumbling down on YouTube and that is why YouTube takes it so seriously. Now you might be wondering like, how is YouTube ever gonna know, right, if I buy views or subscribers? Take a look at this one individual creator. You can see here that this person got like 10,000 new subscribers in one day, and then like, before that they had gotten very few and all of a sudden they had this like insane surge of growth. It just isn't logical. And if I can see that, then you know YouTube can see that. I bet it's a matter of days before this creator's entire channel is taken down. Now, if you're wondering how I can see this, just as a side note, I have an extension on my Chrome called Tube Buddy. It gives me so much insight into my own channel and other people's channels. It's like the number one tool I recommend for anyone who really wants to grow their YouTube channel. I do have an affiliate link to it because if you purchase TubeBuddy, and you definitely should, and I mean that authentically, then you will help support my channel. But even if you don't use my link, you need it anyway. This product is a no-brainer. So what would happen to a particular video or your channel if you bought subscribers or, or views? If you get lucky, they'll take that one particular video down. If you're really unlucky, they'll kill your whole channel. They'll do it. So. It's a hard pass on buying subscribers or views. Now, what about subs for subs? This is a term you may have heard seen in your comment section where people are saying, sub to me and I'll sub to you, or let's be YouTube friends. Basically, what they're asking for is for you to subscribe to their channel and in exchange, they'll subscribe to yours so you each get more subscribers. And that is a little bit different than buying subscribers. It's not necessarily a violation of the YouTube terms of service, but doing this can hurt your channel. And I'm gonna explain to you why here. There's a metric on your channel that's called the click through rate. And basically what it is, it's the percentage of people who are shown your thumbnail on any given page in YouTube and who choose to click on it. So when someone subscribes to your channel and then they go into the YouTube homepage, their homepage is custom. And so they'll see videos from channels to which they have already subscribed. So if you have someone who has subscribed to your channel, not because they're interested in your content, but because they wanted to engage in the sub for sub relationship with you, they will be shown your thumbnail, but guess what? They probably are not gonna click on it because they weren't really interested in your content. They're just interested in upping their own subscriber count. So what happens is YouTube notes that this person saw your thumbnail and chose not to click on it and it drives down your click-through rate. And click-through rates are one of the metrics that YouTube uses to decide how many new people to suggest your content to. So again, sub for subs, it's a total vanity thing, might make you feel good in the moment that you got a new subscriber, but it is not gonna help you in the long run. So thumbs down for subs for subs. So now let's talk about running a contest or a giveaway on your channel. But before we do that, if you like this video, if you feel like you're learning something, do me a solid and subscribe to my channel because I know that you're here authentically.
So running a contest or giveaway of your, on your channel is usually like a combination of things that happen. You're offering up a free product or service in exchange for people to be taking a certain defined set of actions that you're asking them to do. So that could be subscribing to your YouTube channel, commenting on a particular video, and then going on over to Instagram and following you there, and then they are automatically entered to win uh, this particular contest. The thing about contests and giveaways is that they attract a certain element of someone who's just there for the freebie. I used to work in radio way long ago, and we used to refer to those types of people, I hate to say it, we used to call them prize pigs. They were people who were just there, not because they liked the music that we played or they cared about our DJs, but they were there because they just wanted the freebie, whatever it was. So running a contest on your channel, it's not gonna hurt you like buying subs or viewers and you know it's maybe not going to attract like the person who's not at all interested in your content like subs for subs but it's not going to give you that long-term health that you're looking for on your channel it's not really dangerous to do it but you're not going to be building that huge audience it's not going to be improving your click-through rates with these contest giveaways so I know it's tempting to take shortcuts on your YouTube channel because growing on YouTube is so hard but I'm promising you the long road is definitely the smart road. I have a whole playlist dedicated to helping you grow on YouTube. I'm gonna link to it right over here. And I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.